Uh, let me tell you one thing other than this moderator mediator. It is been uh, almost uh, 17 years or so, uh, I am in teaching line and then I was a student for many years. One thing I have learnt, whatever you write that goes to your mind, PPTs never go to your mind. You know, whatever you will write, the organizers ask me three times, four times, send me the PPT, send me the PPT. I said, uh, there is no PPT. Reason being, whatever you will write in your own language, that only will go to your mind. That is a separate story, the book will be lost after some time. But, uh, okay. Now, what is a descriptive research? Descriptive research is one which uh, get a review. We, there was no review available, we do have a review available. We do have a understanding of the various variables and people have worked on the variables from the various perspectives. Then the fundamental question comes, why research? Why do you want to research when everything has been settled down? Why are you doing research? Then you write something need for the study and you tell, well, it is not being done in India. Second thing, the thing we ask, we talk about the two things in research, either fact or opinion. Opinions are largely socio-cultural based. Opinions are largely socio-cultural based. So, anything in HRM, human resource management, anything in marketing will be different in the different countries. The way you sell something in US may not work in Agra. You need a totally indigenous model. So, we do research. We do not reject their work at all. We say, no, no, let us try. Let us try. Have you seen all the pop songs etc, the way they dress, the way they behave, it is not something like on day to day basis, right. Even in the nights they are wearing the dark goggles, <coughs> who wears that? But this is something they have borrowed there and they are just experimenting, maybe it will work here, may not. So one is the descriptive, descriptive research is entirely about the survey base. This is the one of the limitation, it is entirely about the survey there is no experiment conducted in it. If I will ask how well you handle stress, you give your own example. This is one way of collecting the data and may not be very authentic result I will get. If I am given some sort of freedom and some things are available to me, I ask organizer, okay, you know, I will, I will conduct a research, just uh, you just throw some snakes on the participant. And then I will see the way you behave, what it becomes now, it is experimental research. What do you think? What you tell me how to handle the stress and the experiment I will conduct, will the results be same? I ask you, okay, what if a snake is there, what you will do? And you are giving me any answer and if I will actually throw you a snake, so will it be the same what you are saying or taking A option, B option? not necessarily, you may not tell. So, what do you think? Which gives more authentic results? Experiment or survey? Experiment. Correct. There are so many, you know, there is something called socially desirable behavior. Largely, it influences us. For example, if I am doing a study, uh, how many times you shoplift the things? When you visit a mall, how many times? You know, nobody is seeing, just pocket it. So, who will give the answer? No one gives the answer. So, a correct method is I put a video camera there, that is more authentic, correct. So, number one thing is it is not necessarily that you conduct by descriptive method, it can be experimental method. And though there are certain sort of branches we have divided like engineering, it is more of experimental. Medicines, thank God it is experimental, you know. Just imagine the doctor start, ma'am this is a new tablet so colored, what do you think? The 70 percent said give it, <laughs> it will be horrible. So, engineering like how to make a new building. So, that is why the PhD in engineering, it takes years. For the first 3, 4 years, they will develop a new compound. My colleagues in NIT, the, those belong to civil engineer, mechanical engineer, what they will do? They say that, uh, you know, when we start a PhD, we first make a new thing. For example, what should be the composition of uh, the various ingredients for the making the wall? So, they will vary, then we will check again and again, the strength will be tested, you will make a wall, then it will be demolished and the strength will be checked. So, it will take a long time, engineering. 
agriculture is third. Somebody says this pesticide is very effective, show it, take a land on the one use your pesticide, no pesticide, organic pesticide etcetera and then check it that is the experimental research. There are certain areas where we use it, it is like uh, management, commerce, psychology, sociology, all social sciences come under it, then uh, economics partly, it is it is not restricted, I am not saying it is only used in this area. The people of agriculture may go for the survey method and people of management commerce may go for the experimental and one such experiment which actually is called as the genesis of HR was the Harthorns experiment if you have heard for. Now if you look for the Harthorns experiment those who have less idea or forget about it uh, around 1928-29 this was the time first world war was over. There was a person Alton Mayo. He read a wonderful article, the article said that uh, physical facilities have some effect on the human beings. If you just write something you feel that is called as a conceptual paper, when you show it using some data, use some experiments, it is called empirical work, both things are equally important. Conceptual work is equal important because you must look for what is going to happen, that is why when you go for paper publication, please look for it is not only the empirical papers. There are so many types of the paper. I will ask you to go to emeraldinsight.com, abstracts are free, anybody can see. Write any topic, whatever the things you will go, do not look at it, look at the right hand side. You will find there are 11 or 12 types of paper, emerald accepts. Research paper is uh, separate, review paper is separate, conceptual paper is separate, empirical papers are separate. So, so many papers are there. Conceptual is one. Harthorns experiment, actually, Harthorns is the name of a place just outside London, uh, just like uh, from here we go to Noida. So, he went there, there was a uh, factory, they were producing some electrical equipment. He contacted the management there, he said I wish to conduct certain experiments. These experiments were conducted for a duration of 6 years, 1929 to 35, 6 years. Fortunately, he was not doing PhD, he was just conducting experiments. So, he conducted that tube lights, just one, two more tube lights whether the productivity increased, yes it increased surprisingly, two more tube light. Then he looked for can we make a new window, more oxygen content, at what time we should give a break, why every time it is a one hour break after this, why not two breaks of 30 minutes, why not four breaks of 15 minutes, why not six breaks of 10 minutes likewise, these experiments were conducted. So, that was more of the experimental. So, we need to look for when it is any topic is come to you, please look for which way it should be handled, better with the experimental or you should go for the descriptive, it is always a free area. And the fourth is historical, historical research is something like uh, use of scientific methods in history. So, it is not much concern to us, but we should know it. You know there is a difference between history and archaeology, is it? Are the two different words, history and archaeology? What is the difference between the two? Archaeology talks about the physical proof, some sort of scientific evidences like somebody told me this way it happened. Okay, Alexander came to India and there was a fighting and all this stuff and that was passed from generation to generation, it is a history, every generation puts something new or delete something. Okay. Archaeology is something like carbon dating, carbon dating is a very scientific technique, nobody can challenge it, this is this much years old, that is a scientific way of doing the things, that is archaeology. So, out of these four, this one is not much of our concern, likewise this one is not. So, essentially all experiments. Uh, let us uh, inventions come into exploratory, large, large number of discoveries come under this research, but it is not that it is only contains the inventions or uh, discoveries. One example is uh, there was a person called Adam Smith, heard of the name? Yes. The name of the book is Wealth of the Nations, 1776 or something is written. He said, well, uh, there are uh, a production, there are the various uh, sources of production, many is also one. Uh, people said, thank you 
uh, start exploiting the people. Why you are exploiting? Because Adam Smith said so that you must exploit all the resources and manage the resource. Okay. After so many, so many years, rather centuries, somebody said, well, what is going on? We are from economics or economics is from us? What is going on? A country with a very good GDP, high export rates, but quality of life is not there. Life expectancy is not there, sanitation is not there, health facilities are not there, but otherwise country is a rich country. How is it? This, they said something else should be there. This is a professor Huck and uh, Amartya Sen. They said something else should be there. It should be human development index. Jungter said, well, no, see, for so many years, nobody thought about it. So, it is not, uh, we, will you call it exploratory research? Yes, in the terms, everything was there, but nobody thought it from that perspective. Jungter said, yes, it makes sense, there should be SDI. Somebody else said, somebody else said, and then they made a new SDI, human development index. So, it is not always uh, your inventions, but fortunately, we do not use it much. Whatever we work on it is called as a conceptual paper and then somebody will take it. So, if I will, uh, have you heard of relay race, 4 by 100 meter race? Yes. This is the first lap. No precedence, no standard, nothing, the person may go anyway. Now, this person will start only when this will complete or he will see the watch, you know, it is the time I should start or will take something. Yes. In the relay race, they take something, a baton. A baton is passed, the baton is called as the review. Then in the third one, now you say, well, two laps been covered. In the third, we will put in more of the hurdles. We will uh, set free a doggy and we will see how do that is experimental. And this is like people will say, okay, you know, in uh, 2500, people will talk, you know, in uh, early first uh, 10 years or 15 years of uh, 21st century, people used to have something like SPSS workshops. We found certain evidences. People used to collect and they used to talk about SPSS and workshops, etc. That is a historical research. So, what we will talk about is this and why I stress so much on it, please look for statistical tools and techniques for this and this are entirely different. So, when somebody say T test, you must ask which T? It is called paired T test, it is called independent sample T test. Right? So, statistical tool techniques are totally different for this one and there this one. So, T is just one of the example, it is totally separate. So, how we come to know that it is experimental research of one very thumb rule just like for kids. In experimental research, we measure one thing from one person minimum two times that will help us in understanding data entry in SPSS or Excel. Let me repeat, I am saying in experimental research, we take a data about one thing from one person minimum two times. What, what it means? Before and after, pre and post. For example, if I got fever, my fever is noted, tablet is given, then again my fever should be taken or his fever will do? My. So, from minimum two readings from the about the same thing, okay, my fever was noted, after the tablet my weight was noted. Will that work? No, it is the same fever should be noted. So, the same thing should be asked from the same person minimum two times. So, that is called experimental research and later on it becomes as a design of experiments. My friend of mechanical or civil engineering etc., they use permutation and combination which is the extra part of it which is called design of experiments. Here we will talk about it. First point here is the SPSS which you stress so much First, uh, its name is changed, you know that. It is no, people call it SPSS. Company says, well, it is PSW here. In 2009, IBM took over this company, SPSS company, and name was changed to PASW. SPSS was statistical package for social science. PASW is processing analyzing software. So, the, since the company changed, they changed the name, but people still call it as SPSS. Okay, that is why company says, okay, it is SPSS 22 version. So, name indicates statistical package for social science, number one, it is for social science. It is basically for survey work, please try to understand that. One of the limitation of SPSS is it handles survey work data and which is a cross-sectional data. Now, what is that cross-sectional? There is again, data is again of very various types and let us do that and then we will stop for some moments. I am just taking only four parts 
I know in the books you will find diagnostic research, quasi experimental, this and this. There can be a number of things. I am just giving you my understanding on the basis of time period. Like somebody for the first time said there is a stress, people worked on stress for a long time using survey method, people used stress by experimental methods, and then somebody say why people were stressed. The next is data. So, the first point is you take a variable and then you decide how which sort of research I will conduct and which sort of data I will take and then the third thing the tools techniques etcetera they will come. 